Today I'm going to be showing you how to install SNMP on a Ubuntu server. This will work with versions as far as I have tested 0 or 8.04 all the way up to 9.10 which is currently is. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, I am root here so I'm just going to do an app dash get update. If you weren't root you could do a sudo with the privileged user to do this. So once that is done, I would do an app.get install snmpd. Now I've already done this, so I don't have to do it again, but once that is finished, you want to etc into the snmp directory. You'll notice there is the snmpd.config. This is the two files that come pre-installed they are somewhat working out of the box but I have a little bit better config to work with so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to copy that file and we're gonna basically copy it to we're gonna change its name so now if we do a list we have the dash ORIG which gives you the original file so if you ever had to reference that it's there so what I'm going to do here is I am going to touch this file here which basically clears out the file for us so now if I vim into that file it's blank now this right here is the basic file that will get you working this right here the well let's just paste it in here first and then I can explain it so right here the syslocation is basically the location of the box this could be named anything it could be named front office upstairs whatever you like Sys contact that is basically as you can basically tell by the name it's the contact person now this will set up the community name of public so that right there is the basic file in a future tutorial I can explain the rest but so let's go ahead and save that file now there's one other thing we need to do we need to do a vim etc default oh SNMPD the reason why we need to do this is by default SNMP is set to allow only access to that same localhost box so we need to go in here and we need to remove the 127.0.0.1 so now we want to restart SNMPD and you're done you now have a we could do an SNMP actually I don't have the tools installed if I do an app get update S actually SNMP so now if I do an SNMP walk community public version 1 and it goes ahead and it spits out all that information so hopefully this tutorial was helpful if it is please subscribe if you have any questions post a comment thank you